Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Today we will cover testing PoE injectors with a POC Ethernet. And there's a lot of different ways of doing it. People have asked me to show me more to day-to-day -day stuff, and here's a day-to-day -day thing that I do. Let's jump right into it. So I can't tell you how many times I'm on site or even in my office, need to sift through boxes of equipment for an install or troubleshooting. And my thoughts as I go through all this stuff is, does the equipment actually work or is it questionable and tossed into this box of stuff? So in this scenario, I need to find a Ubiquiti PoE injector for a 2.4 gigahertz radio. So here's what I did for my testing. I found a couple of injectors and I want to test them out before I install them because it could be on a roof, a pole, wherever, right? And you want to make sure it works properly. So I used my pocket ethernet to test the voltages and network connectivity. So it's pretty simple. The uh, green part is in the PoE RJ45 that goes to the actual POC Ethernet device, the testing device, and the pink cable labeled LAN goes to my network. So I can test the PoE portion and obviously it can get my network and all that kind of stuff. The POC Ethernet was configured to get an IP address via DHCP and it's going to ping three different IP addresses that I configured within the unit. So this is what the app looks like. So the POC Ethernet connects to my Android phone via Bluetooth, so that means it doesn't physically uh, have to be near me. It can be behind a cabinet, up on a you know raised ceiling, whatever. As long as I'm in with the Bluetooth range, I'm good to go. And then I can select or deselect tests by pressing the circular icon. So in this case, I want to test link, CDP, DHCP, ping and of course PoE that's part of blank and then you know it's testing when the measure box down here the measure box turns into measuring and then you know it's doing something so now I got my test results and I can see that the link on the PoE device is 100 megabit full duplex MDIX it also breaks it down here per speed just so you know it's half full half full and not supported now if the port on the switch was configured statically for let's just say 100 meg full duplex for whatever reason then that would be indicated here as well so the everything is auto and auto so the PoE injector does not support gigabit ethernet and that's really important to understand the PoE side of things this is a shot an actual photograph of the PoE ejector or adapter from the bottom of the unit and you can see that it says here uh, that it's DC 15 volts 0.8 amps and you can see here it says that it got 16 volts measured from the actual device so it's actually providing proper power on the CDP side of things because I have CDP enabled on my switch and Cisco will send it out on every port I can see the make and model of the switch version of iOS the name of the switch the IP of the switch I can see that I'm in stack 2 port 21 I'm in VLAN 1 and the VLAN is called lab and I can even see the management address which happens to be the same as the interface address. Now the important part here is I am connected to a gig ethernet port but because the injector only supports 100 I will only see 100 meg ethernet being used on that port. Now that radio is 2.4 gigahertz and it only does 802.11b and G so 100, megahertz, 100 megabits is perfectly acceptable for that Ethernet port. DHCP, I can see the IP assigned to that device because it's DHCP assigned and that will change depending on the scope and obviously what VLAN you're on. In this case I can see the gateway IP, the DNS server IPs, my IP, my MAC address and so on and so on. On the ping side of things it will ping each one of these three times and average the results. Uh, just be careful if you um, play a little bit with um, port fast, uh, those types of commands, it may actually impact the first test, right? It may actually impact your DHCP as well, so just be a little bit aware of that. Uh, just a little side note, the uh, POC Ethernet uh, forum, the support forum, is awesome. I was stuck on something and before I even tried to email the guys at POC Ethernet. I went to the forum out of curiosity and there was the answer that somebody had posted already. Last thing I could do is take all the results, create a PDF report and email them to myself so then I'll have an actual record of what I did. So hope that helps. 
Have a good day. Bye for now.